So, what are the two different parts of your chocolate? <laughs> right. <laughs> it's very powerful. It is. Um, the first, and it's um, so the first part really was more the reward. And if I look at it, it's really when I was younger, it was really the reward. And as I said, my family was very, my mom, very health conscious, very, very health conscious. And so the only time I really got anything good was it was, you know, if I did well, you know, got the A on the spelling test, did well in the math, it was that reward. So you weren't given tofu or carrots as a reward for the A on the spelling test? No, no. Mm -hmm. no. no, it was the good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the celebrations, right. Christmas, right, you know, right. like Easter, the, those types of things. And for the celebrations, what would you eat typically as a family? Um, well, we would, I mean, my parents, they were vegetarians. My dad uh, was actually a butcher, so that quickly turned them off meat. Um, so it was usually, you know, forms of tofu, uh, Cheese. They were not pure vegetarians, but there was it was still pretty healthy, right. healthy foods. But then you know that's when you get the desserts, the cake, or the right, whatever the good, you know the good stuff. And you really appreciate that. Oh, absolutely. A couple of tofu and carrots and broccoli yeah, and spinach. And, yeah, absolutely. Especially you know when you're like five or six. <laughs> right, right, right. So even then they carried an emotional charge. It sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Good. Okay. So, and, and then so the other piece I realized I think it was more when I got older was it became that I mean maybe I you know needed less re rewards because I was pretty self-motivated and then I just I remember very distinctly my mom saying like oh we've had a really hard day so let's go reward ourselves um, and so I think that that's almost the the stronger one for me is that I had a really hard day at work you know I worked really hard I dealt with a really difficult client or you know college, high school, college, grad school, all those types of things, it has been more the reward. I mean, the, the, the negative, like, oh, I've had a rough day, let me right. self soothe Yes, okay. And think back to a time that happened fairly recently, if you remember. Was there a day, like, that really was, stands out as being a bad day recently for you, where you did that, and rewarded yourself with chocolate? Um, probably. I have one particularly challenging client. Let's tap and talk about a client. Okay. Yeah. And everyone tap along together. So, and again, you'll tap on your other shoe. So. What is it? He said, do we get a chocolate? Get a chocolate tap? Yeah. tap? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, yes. that day. Um, run through the day. Run through the day. Um, let's see. So, um, it's sort of every Thursday that I know that she's coming in. Um, it's it'll even like change how my when Wednesday night is. You know, we have friends who are like come have a glass of wine. It's like no, I can't I can't be off my game when she comes in. Um, so I just know it's I'm sort of preparing for it all morning. What will I get? What will I see? Um, you know, am I going to be able to keep her safe? Keep her husband safe? That sort of stuff. So I sort of prepare. Am I um, learning enough skills? Do I have enough skills to keep her safe? Yeah, right. And what's your main worry about failing to keep herself safe? If you fail to do that, what will happen? Um, that she will kill herself and that she will potentially kill other people. Right. So if you fail to keep her safe, <clears throat> she might kill herself and kill other people. Yes. Okay. Let's just stay with that for a moment, because that's a pretty charged idea. So if I don't keep her safe, mm -hmm. then she might kill herself and <coughs> kill other people. Right. And I love and accept myself. So if I don't keep her safe, she might kill herself and kill other people, and I love and accept myself. Yeah. If I may totally <laughs> fail, 
I may totally fail. She may kill everyone in the world. <laughs> she may kill everyone in the world. <laughs> she definitely has the capacity to kill everyone in the world. She has the capacity to kill everyone in the world. And it'll be all my fault. And it'll be all my fault. Entirely my fault. Entirely my fault. One hundred percent my fault. One hundred percent my fault. That she's now killed herself. That she's now killed herself. And the other seven billion people in the world. <laughs> <laughs> the other seven billion people in the world. <laughs> it's all up to me to save the world. It's all up to me to save the world. It's all up to me to save everyone else in the world. It's all up to me to save everyone else in the world. And if anyone in the world isn't saved... And if anyone in the world isn't saved... It's all my fault. It's all my fault. Entirely my fault. Entirely my fault. So I have to prepare for her... I have to prepare for her. For the challenge she faces. For the challenge that she faces. The challenge she presents to me. And the challenge she presents to me. And I might fail. And I might fail. <clears throat> if I fail, the consequences are severe. If I fail, the consequences... It's all up, all up to me. It's all up to me. Everything's up to me. Everything's up to me. <clears throat> I'm responsible for everyone. I'm responsible for everyone. I'm responsible for her. I'm responsible for her. I'm responsible for her welfare. I'm responsible for her welfare. I'm responsible for everyone's welfare. I'm responsible for everyone's welfare. And I love to accept myself. And I love to accept myself. Even despite my beliefs. Even despite my beliefs. But it's all up to me. It's all up to me. Okay, just feel into your body, relax. Have you had any kind of shift? Uh, we tap and said all these ridiculous things. Um, <laughs> I've definitely forgotten about the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, possibly a mass, a mass species extinction of the whole human race probably is, you know, enough to command your attention. There is definitely more tension now. Because <laughs> yes. I'm going, oh, I do have that. I'm the only one who can take care of this and that. Yeah. That is that thought. Yeah. How strong is your belief that I'm the only one who can? Um, not that I'm the only one, but that that I think it's pretty strong that if I don't take care of it, no one else is. I think it's pretty strong. It's pretty complicated. In terms of the strength of your belief, mm -hmm. if I don't take care of it, what was the rest of the week? No one else will. No one else will, okay. Mm -hmm. How strong is that belief? 10 out of 10, 8 out of 10, it's 2? Probably, I mean, um, I would say logically, I know that that's not the reality. I know I work with a lot of other good people, but emotionally, it's it's a strong thing. It's probably annoying. right, right. If I don't take care of it, nobody else will. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Where do you feel that in your body when you say that? Um, it kind of is in my stomach. Like it's kind of heavy. That like heavy feeling right there. What's the early time you felt that same physical sensation in your stomach? Um, I think that would probably go back to that, that childhood thing. Being okay. like the, just feeling, and I think that's the reward of being tied into, I have to be, in my family, that was my role, was to keep that family together right. by being the good kid and right. being the smart kid. Yeah. So um, think about maybe a time when you failed in that role mm -hmm. and you weren't good enough, weren't smart enough, mm -hmm. something bad happened. Mm -hmm. Was there a time that did occur? Um, well, as you're saying that, I do think back to when I was in college, and my first few years in college were not great, um, of just kind of finding myself. My parents actually did split up for a while. Okay. And I was out of the home. So I that, yeah. Right, yeah. So um, just say whatever ideas come to you about this pattern of leaving. It's all up to me. If I don't take care of it, nobody else will. Uh, it's all my fault if um, things don't go well in my family mm -hmm. or with my clients. Just say any thoughts that come to you like that, and, but tap while you say okay. them as well. Um, what, what, what number are you, by the way, if you're thinking in your stomach? Probably like right eight. An eight. Yeah, okay. it's okay. pretty strong. Okay. So I have this feeling in my stomach. I have this feeling in my stomach. I have to take care of it or nobody else will. That I have to take care of it or no one else will. It's all up to me. It's all up to me. Just keep on going now. Um, that I'll be blamed. You'll be, oh, you'll no be blamed. blamed, okay. Yeah. Oh, because now, now we know it's responsible for everything that's wrong. Right? <laughs> it will be all, it will be um, my fault. And working in the VA does not help that. Because <laughs> <laughs> that is sort of a, a, a theme. So let's make it even stronger. Say I'll, I definitely will be blamed. I definitely will be blamed. For everything. For everything. Everything that goes wrong. Everything that goes wrong. My family or the world. My family and the family of the world. I will be blamed. I will be blamed. 
Other people will blame me. Other people will blame me. I will blame myself. I will blame myself. Yeah. That looks like that's a lot of emotional yeah. weight for you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. It's less about what other people think and right. about my own. I will blame myself. myself. I will blame myself. Yeah. So let's just breathe for a moment and um, just feel compassion for the beautiful little girl who got that message from somewhere, somehow, and took on all that self-blame mm -hmm. around her family and the rest yeah. of the world. Just feel love for that little girl who was trying so very, very hard, the hardest she possibly could, but was never good enough. Just tap, feel it, feel your body, think about her, send her love, Accept yourself being that girl who took on so much responsibility for the emotional welfare of other people. Went into the healing professions and became, became a healing professional and tried so hard to make things right for other people. And there are still these challenging clients that test limits, you know, no matter how good you are, she may still kill herself. Yeah. Yeah. It's all up to you. It's all up to me. Yeah. It's all up to me as a kid. It's all up to me as an adult. It's all up to me as a kid. It's all up to me as an adult. It's always all up to me. <laughs> it's always all up to me. And I can never measure up to this impossible standard. <laughs> I can never measure up to this impossible standard that I have set. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes. So I have compassion on myself. So I have compassion on myself. For setting that impossible standard. For setting that impossible standard. I set that impossible standard. I set that impossible standard. Because I care so much. Because I care so much. I've gotten myself into all this trouble. I've gotten myself into all this trouble. By caring so much. By caring so much. <laughs> and I still do care very much. And I still do care very much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love and accept the I caring part of myself. I love and accept the caring part of myself. Things might go right. Things might go right. Things might go wrong. And they might go wrong. And I still love and accept the caring part of myself. And I still love and accept the caring part of myself. Do you have a name for that caring part of yourself? Nickname or a concept that you are an avatar or anything like that, that part of yourself that's the caring, caring part or the caregiver? No. I would, the closest would just sort of be like, you know. Someone else has said, like that rock or that mountain or that, you know. Just right. That being that steady yeah. foundation. Yeah. So I'm the steady foundation. Mm -hmm. I'm the steady foundation. Everyone else depends on me. Everyone else depends on me. I have to be good enough. I have to be good enough. Or bad things will happen. Or bad things will happen. My client might kill herself. My client might kill herself. Might kill others. <coughs> might kill others. And all my care. All my care. All my care. Won't be able to stop her. Won't be able to stop her. All my skill. All my skill. Won't be able to stop her. Won't be able to stop her. I'm doing all these things right. I'm doing all these things right. That's never enough. That's never enough. And that doesn't feel good. And it doesn't feel good. To have so much care. To have so much care. And be doing so much. And be doing so much. And it's still made up work. And it's still made up work. It's all up to me. Everyone's well-being is up to me. Everyone's well-being is up to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so tune back into your stomach area and see what your number is now. You tap some of those ideas, please. It's actually like a one. A one. Yeah, it's really... Yeah. Got right now. Yeah. I'll just smell the chocolate and see what the craving level is for the chocolate. Mm, it smells good, but it's, it's not really... I'm full. Right. So right. Yeah. Well, thank you so thank you. much for working with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.